welcome to another episode of Better Than Yesterday Podcast. I'm Skip Jennings. And I'm Coach KJ. Get ready to change your life. Man, why are you doing the robot? Why are you up there doing the robot? Y'all, welcome to Better Than Yesterday Podcast. Coach KJ is doing the robot, y'all. I'm He's locking. Dancing. I'm locking like, like rerun. Back in the day. What you know about Oh that? my God! What Rerun. You know? LA Lockers. LA That's Lockers. Right. LA Lockers. That's Him right. Him and Um the show was what was it? What's happening? What's happening? That's right. With Rerun. Was hey, it Rerun? Hey, uh-huh. hey, 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 hey. That, hey, was, hey, and Dwayne, that was Dwayne. Yeah. And Dwayne and Kim. Well, no, no. What was the what was the daughter's name? The sister. Uh, uh She was the mean one. Uh what was her name? What was her name? What was her name? Oh, my one. God. What was that girl's name? <laughs> I literally just said it the other day. I know. I know. I know. Ooh, anyway, it's mama going to beat you. Right. It's coming back. It's coming back. All right. So welcome to another episode of Better Than Yesterday podcast. Listen, we always say that we want you to be better than yesterday. Better than yesterday, but not as good as tomorrow. Not as good as tomorrow. <laughs> another day. No, we're not there yet. But today, you have the opportunity we are to be better there. than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, man? What's nothing going on? much and everything. And everything. What's nothing much and everything? Nothing much is, uh, you know, just take it easy. Yeah? Like, I just glide. You gl- <laughs> Like I got roller skates on. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are, you, where are you gliding to, man? I glide in and out of people's <laughs> lives, making them better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. They have, no, one hour, they have one hour with me. I try to make it a glorious hour. Really? <laughs> or an hour and a half sometimes. <laughs> but uh, everything, everything is everything. Everything's I mean, everything. Just, this, this, this is everything. Yeah. This is everything. The opportunity, the platform to tell people, hey, I got you. <laughs> I know you. I hear you. I feel you. Or the opportunity to say, wake up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As my kids in team ministry say, you ain't woke. Get woke. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Or um, uh, what was the love doctor? In, uh, <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I know, right? All Spike Lee movies. Spike Lee movies. You know, you know, Spike Lee movies. We're going to have to have an episode with the best Spike Lee movie ever, the best scene. Mike, what's your favorite Spike Lee movie? I would have to say School Days. I, school Days was, that's when I got really woke, but then I love She's Gotta Have It. Love, do the right thing. Do the right thing. What he's having when Mookie yes. and yes. Tina yes. with the with the ice, ice cube. cube. Oh boy! Oh boy! With uh, God uh, bless the lips. With, 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 what's that? When she used to dance on some train. I know. I know. Oh my oh goodness! My God. God about that, huh? Yeah. So do the right thing it has to be. I think one of the most um, speaking about being woke, it really woke you up. Yes. It really take you to that place of um, just all his movies was like that though. All his movies yeah. are like that too. Um, but my favorite Spike Lee, I say, have to be. But I love, I love. She's got to have it too. I, and that was the first. <laughs> baby, baby, the first baby, 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 please. Yes. I love it. You know, she's got to have is going to Netflix. Get out of here. She's got to have it. Will be on Netflix. I think it's at the end of the year or the beginning of next year. As a TV Netflix, wow. they're redoing, and he's directing. That's amazing. He's directing. That was great. His wife is producing. Oh my god, I totally forgot that. Look at where we go. We start off with we, we <laughs> well, had hey, a plan. Hey, hey. With, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what was her name though? Come D. on, D. Yes, D. <laughs> D. She was a little. And Shirley. And Shirley. I love me some Shirley. They keep going to the same place where the person will not serve you. <laughs> <laughs> sitcoms. Let's talk sitcoms. Let's talk about back in the day. Sitcoms. So there was um, um, there was Good Times. You watch Good, good Times? T- good I mean, well, Times. Yes. Yes. Good and, Times. And when, and when uh, James and, uh, and uh, uh, what's, the, what's the mother's name? Um, Florida. Florida. When they held out because Jimmy Walker took over the show, uh, <laughs> they were not having it. They killed off James. They killed off James. Oh, damn, right. damn, damn, damn. That ain't right. That ain't right. 
<laughs> they killed off James. Oh, um, I'm going to get one back way back. I don't know. Did you watch Sanford's Son? Yes. <laughs> yes. Bum, bum, bam, bam. Yeah. But remember, as a kid, you created the the words to go with the song. <laughs> His name was Sanford. No. Fred Sanford. He had a son named Lamont no. in the pickup, <laughs> and they lived in Watts. <laughs> no way. Yes, we did. No. We created songs for everything. <laughs> words for everything as a kid. I loved it. I loved it. Yes. Okay. So we're moving on up. Moving on to up. To the east side, the Jefferson to show. The deluxe apartment. Deluxe. In the sky. I you know, I always thought about that. It was like, what would it li- what would it be like to live in a deluxe apartment in the sky? Man, that's like, pretty big. Well, that's pretty big, man. I love that show. I love, love, love. Now all that came from um All in the Family though. Yes. Did you ever watch All in the Family? Uh, no. You know, this is so funny because a lot of black folks didn't watch All in the Family. They did, but they did. Or they didn't talk about it, but they watched it. Or they watched it when they knew that, that George Jefferson, Jefferson was showing up or Lionel was showing up. I watched I wasn't in love with it, but I became in love with it um, when there was George Jefferson and, and yeah. them on the show. It was good. But, you know, um, all those, those sitcoms Norman, back in the day. Norman Lear. Norman Lear. He's the man. He is the man. Well, that's enough of us reminiscing back in the day. <laughs> but we can do this all day. We can do an episode on favorite, you know, favorite TV shows. And, I, and favorite donuts. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's your favorite donut? Favorite donut is a maple glaze with bacon on it. No, yeah, ain't right. Where you get that from? It's sweet and salty, man. Where I you get that, that from? Sweet and salty. Um, a few spots. Where? Uh, you know. <laughs> Think about places. it. We got you got three. Not too many places. Out. Not too many places. Um, uh, DK Donuts. DK Donuts. You, you get there. Um, I forgot there. There's another place. Um, I think there's. A, is there a Voodoo Donut in L. A. Now? I don't think so. You that, gotta Google that. Google that on your phone. Important. See if there's a Voodoo. You know the internet slow. Go, go. You know I ain't got no Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no Wi-Fi in here. No, it's it's wide low. <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. I got Wi Fi for you. Uh y'all I'm gonna put in the Wi Fi for him so he can donut voo- so he can Google Voodoo Donut. Voodoo Donut. Um my favorite donut is Krispy Kreme. Yes. But you gotta take Krispy Kreme. I don't even have a microwave anymore because I threw a microwave away about ten years ago. But you take a little because you can only do it for one like like five seconds. Pop it in the microwave because if it's if it's not already warm, and then you take a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of it, kabush! All I need is a glaze, hot glaze. <laughs> I'm eating before I'm out of the driveway. No. Baker's dozen. <laughs> Done. Uh uh-uh, uh, that ain't right. Yes, it that is. That ain't right. It's a whole right. dozen? Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Okay, so. now you got Wi Fi, so check it out. Get on it and then look for Voodoo Voodoo. Okay. Y'all, we're going to look for a Voodoo Donut. If you know a Voodoo Donut, hit us up on Facebook, please. A Voodoo Donut. Voodoo Donut. You spell Voodoo like Voodoo? Yeah, Voodoo. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, y'all, we need to get to business here. We're talking about transforming life, and now we're talking about Voodoo Donuts yes. and San Francisco. Universal City. Universal City. Shout out to Voodoo Donuts. Do you think yes. they will um, they will sponsor the podcast? To like... <laughs> can, we, can we get a sponsorship? Can we get a sponsorship for Voodoo? Oh, my goodness. I know I don't want that sponsorship. <laughs> I know, right? That would be a deadly, <laughs> deadly sponsorship. So we are in part two of Hot Trends, Hot Fitness Trends for 2017 because we're closing out 2017. We all up in September, October, we have this listed. So that means we only got a quarter left. And they were predicting these hot fitness trends um, early, uh, late 2016, yes. what was going to happen for 2017. And we just like going through this and what's her name? You had, you had Ju- it right. Ju- Julia Naftalin. 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 She ain't from, she ain't from Crenshaw. No. <laughs> no. She, ain't from the, she, ain't, she ain't from the woods. She ain't from the, no, she's she not. She ain't from Shaw, not she from the woods. woods. Not she from just, Watts. No, no. <laughs> But anyway, but uh, 
So this is part two. We were talking about the first ones. Let's do a little recap review. The first one that we talked about was wearable technology, and you still ain't got your uh, Apple Watch on. That's okay. We got you. We got you because you're not wearing your Apple Watch. This is what you get for the first one right up in here. <laughs> technology slow. <laughs> technology slow. See, I can say okay, a long okay. time ago. <laughs> then we said body weight training. You love body weight training. Love you love that training. one. Yes. We talked about hit a little bit. We High intensity head. interval yes. training. We talked about how much Chill of an it. expert I am. Right. How much of a <laughs> yes, you edu it was educated, certified, experienced fitness professionals. That's, that's who you me. That's who you that's that, that would be a we. There's no me in okay, team. Okay, then include yourself. There is no me in team. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there is there a me in team? There's no I in team. Oh, there is a me in team. Oh there goodness. is a me in team. <laughs> All backwards. What is this? Red round, red round. <laughs> Now, what movie is that? Oh, my All God. Right. Here that we go. Is, that is um, The Shining. There you go. Good job. And what does it spell backwards? Murder. Okay. All right. You got your TV game on. You got your TV you game on. These, uh, <laughs> topics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, strength training. Strength training. Tell me about it, brother. That's the next hot. Which, 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 for me, right now, some of these are kind of getting little, like, We've been doing this since big end time. Since Christ was a so, cowboy. <laughs> so what's this? I, how is strength training a fitness trend for 2017? I have no idea. It is. It should be a staple in your life. It's not a trend. Right. I wake up with a dumbbell in my hand. That gets another. <laughs> where is boo. it? Gets another boo. <laughs> we don't like you. Boo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cheer because it's up there, though. But you can cheer because it's up there. Good bitch. All right. Group training. That's another one, dude. I've been teaching group training for 27 years. I started when I was two. He said that out loud. I know. 27 <laughs> years. I've been doing this group. So it's. But what's here's the What's your hair look like at that time? I had, at one time, I had, why you, why, okay, I will tell you, one time I did have short blonde hair. It was back in the Madonna um, and Blonde Ambition Tour. Yeah, I had the short, 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 blonde, blonde hair. And you were talking about me pop locking. Before uh, yeah, we I know. Goodness. But here's what they listen on the group training. Let's keep this, let's keep this conversation straight up on this one. <laughs> they got Soul Cycle and Pure Bar and Orange Theory and CrossFit, all these little boutique. I love that the boutiques are making a big, big push here. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's, uh, it's very enterprising. Mm. I think it offers people uh, many different areas to just kind of like tap and find what they like. Right. I People say, well, what should I start first? What do you want to do and yeah. what do you like to do? We got to get you liking something first before you just delve into, you know, some people have to do group fitness classes. I had a girl stop doing my class because she started strength training because I kept encouraging her to lift mm, heavier weights. Right. She came in. She said she lost like 6 or 7% body fat. Yeah. And don't mind you, before you all start jumping on us on, on Facebook and Twitter and all that, yes, we work for Equinox. And we are the number one luxury gym in the world. And and we are proud, proud employees of Equinox. And, um, but I, I really believe that the boutique gives a, um, a level of intimacy. Yes. Where you can really get to know, um, not that you can't get to know in, in Equinox, but in that place where you really get to know your instructor, you get to really know who they are, and you spend time in intimate groups. I think boutique allows people who are intimidated by gyms yes. to be able to walk into a boutique and find, and if you are just a cyclist, and that's what you like, and you like Soul Cycle and the, the feel of, of the hot room, because it's very, very hot there, and the walls sweat, and it's dark, and you're in a, you in a, uh, you cycling really, really fast, going nowhere, um, and you no, know. How do you feel? I, I love Soul Cycle. I think Soul Cycle is <laughs> great. I love Pure Bar. I love all. I, I love. I I love all the cycling studios. In fact, I've gone to cycling studios when I was a master trainer. I'm still a master trainer for Schwinn. We used to you know take our bikes into the studios and train studios. 
So I love Boutique. I think it is... The, I think that's going to be the next push. And even in Equinox, we're trying to give a boutique feel to our bar mm -hmm. classes. We have a boutique in our Santa Monica um, Equinox, which is um, our Precision Running Lab. Mm -hmm. It's a lab. The only thing we do in the lab is running. That's a boutique within a club. Yeah. So I think it has its place. We're looking at more of that, how to do that at Equinox. I think it's, it's great. So yeah. group well, fitness, group training. Well, the, also with the intimacy, you know, with intimacy also comes community mm. and the community and people wanting to feel a part of something. Yeah. Not just go somewhere, but be a part of something. People yeah. want to be included. Yeah. Why do people join fraternities? Why do people join gangs? Why do people join other groups that are like bad or some, there are a lot of good. Now we talk about good gangs. We're but I'm going to say, you groups. about to call, you well, call, you just, call, just, you put the gang? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we have been called the cults. Yes. We have been called the cults. I uh, uh huh. And we I, are not a gang of <laughs> cult boy. You better. That no, was but, that was Coach KJ because he knows. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the idea of the community and mm. people just being a part of something like yeah. you're getting that telephone call. Yeah. Hey, where you been? Where How you, you been? been? You know, if as an instructor, if you know your class, we typically do that. Yeah. But. For the most part, that gym is really going to be involved with people's lives. Mm. I like that. You know, the birthdays come around. They do a celebration, a special ride, or a special workout for somebody's birthdays. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I like everything about that community. Yeah. Because um, I did CrossFit. And it was very, very community. Everybody mm. knew everybody. That's that's a cult. Everybody. <laughs> well, it can't be a cult anymore <laughs> if they're... Thousands of them. Oh, it's no, a, no, no. It's a, it's a very, no. it's a, typically are very niche. Oh, groups. well, let me tell you about CrossFitters who CrossFit. I know some CrossFitters, man. Yeah, they, crazy. they are dogmatic. Yes. They like, you ain't working unless you're working at CrossFit. I'm going, yes, I am. Then I have a problem. I have a problem when they do that. It's like people that do kettlebells. I know. And they say, well, I'm a kettlebell trainer. Like, mm -hmm. No, yeah, you're not. You're a trainer. You're a trainer. You just you're have trainer. to be your, your tool happens to be a kettlebell. It's true. When I did certi when I got certified uh, RKC, um, said so tell them tell them what it is. I know what it is. But RKC is Russian it? kettlebell certification. Thank you. Everybody is not as educated as you. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. I know. But I'm here to teach. You. <laughs> Back in the day. Back in, in the fact, day. Pavel, one of the things that he said was, "We are not. I'm teaching you." how to physically move more efficiently. Mm. Kettlebells just happen to be the tools we use for that vehicle. Yeah. And that's it. And he's like, I just want you to move better. Mm. I was like, I can dig that. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely a part of that. What about the movement that we're seeing more and more? It's always been a huge movement. It still works. Some products we have seen forever. Um, like Beachbody, when you see it on TV and you get it in, and boom, and, and do you think people feel like a community when they buy it? I mean, I, there's a beach body movement now online that you join, you join online, you get your DVDs, they have, they have beach body conventions. Um, um, but what do you think about that? People working out at home, do they feel like they're part of a community? Um, probably not at first, mm. but that's because of their, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Their insecurity yeah. of themselves. Yeah. And when they build themselves up and realize, I feel a little more open. I feel a little bit happier. I, I like myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's why I always say, when you're trying to learn to love yourself, yeah. sometimes just getting physically active helps you to have a little bit more. You're all right. Mm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Gold mm -hmm. star for Marcus. Mm. <laughs> mm. What movie? Go start from oh, Marcus. What is it? Boomerang. Oh, there you that's go. one of my least favorite Eddie Murphy movies. Okay, moving on. Ah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but Joe, you know, my favorite Eddie Murphy movie is what? Yes. Delirious. No. Raw. No. Norbert. No! I threw that out there just because. She's so, your queen! Okay, okay, okay. That's true. Just for your desire! 
<laughs> Coming to America. <laughs> hey, that is, hey, that, hey. That is, that is his best movie. That's the best movie ever. Whenever it's on, I got to turn it on. I got to watch it. I got to stop. Yeah, so whatever it's you're doing. so good. You got to watch yes, it. It's best. <laughs> I, I, I would have to agree with you. Definitely. Oh, my God. So good, so good, so good. We got to have a show of all our favorite movies and favorite TV shows. That is That keeps coming up. <laughs> so um, the next one, the next trend is not really a trend, but they're talking about it's becoming more and more of a trend. Right now, it's exercise is medicine. But here's what I got to say for this. I know ACSM talks about this. It's the American Med- Medical Association, along with S- um, SCSM. They talk about the global movement of encouraging physicians to refer patients to fitness professionals in, in their communities. Um, I already know, here's the deal. When your insurance runs out and you can't afford to go to your doctor, that's when they are pushing them off to going from physical therapy into the fitness. But it should be the other way around. Yes. You should be coming to us first before you got to go see a doctor. Right. And and that that's just my take on it. I want to help people not have to go to the doctor. Yes. That's the focus. So exercise as medicine is preventative medicine, but we work with you, whatever you got. And one of the things I, I, I'm going to get some CrossFitters who hate on me later on online. That's okay. I love I y'all. get people coming. Not all y'all, but I love y'all. <laughs> Good are programming. You, oh, you you gonna hope you gonna put me out there like that, right? You uh, gonna hope you gonna <laughs> be by myself? No, okay. no, no. Good but I've had okay. So here's a story. Okay. I've had people come from CrossFit to me as for a trainer and saying, "I went to CrossFit and now I'm injured here, mm-hmm. and now I need to do this right." They're going. Yeah, they have to go. Excuse me, but they have to go ass backwards. Yeah, ass back. Well, we know we can't go back. We're going forward, but we taking a step back yes, a little bit. Definitely. So, I mean, I, I listen again. Not hating. I love that y'all get people moving. I love, love that, yeah. love that. But um, so preventative medicine. Yeah. The problem is, is the, with like going back to CrossFit and then going to preventative medicine, it's the idea of the the um, the challenge of the human spirit. Where everybody likes to meet a challenge, but sometimes you're not up for that challenge yet, mm-hmm. and you have to take a step back and know where your body and your mind and what you're capable of and mm-hmm. not capable of, because yeah. people do too, way too much too soon, mm-hmm. too fast, mm-hmm. and it's usually not in that first three months. It's in that six nine month time frame when your body's made adjustments and say, right. "Oh." I'm here now. Yeah, I can do X, I can Y, do and Z. I can do it. No, you instead can. of going well, <laughs> instead of well, walking into a, a a a facility, and the coach is saying, "See that tire right there? I want you to flip it over." Yeah, and they can't even stand up and walk. Right there, you go. There you go. But as far as medicine is concerned, uh, you know, if this is the best medicine. If this is the best medicine. Every time I get injured from X, Y, Z, I've always had back mm-hmm. problems since I was like 25, 26. Yeah, yeah. me too. I, I've had two back surgeries. Actually, three back surgeries. Wow. I've had a laminectomy, I had a disectomy, and then I had a micro, microscopic um, surgery um, where it was less invasive, where they opened up the vertebrae. Okay. Um, but I've never had a fusion. The only thing that saved me was the fact that I was already in fitness, and one of the trends... Thank you. One of the trends that's coming up, save my life, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you oh, off. Oh, no, no, no. But, yeah. But but uh, just dealing with my own back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, I, I've always said this. Having injuries is a way of teaching myself to be better in other areas. Mm. And mm. fixing and preparing. So when I come out of that injury and things are better, I'm stronger and my shoulder mobility. I'm stronger mm. in, you know, if I've dealt with back or a hip issue, I'm better in my knees because I've done a lot of other things to help get those, the the, the fluid and the fluidity yeah. in that, the ankles, working mm. on your mobility. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had, you know, torn Achilles. So yeah. I've dealt with it. But uh, yeah, you have to, have to, have to take a step back. Figure out where your body is. You know where it's going to go. Find a fitness professional to help you. Yeah. And then you start moving. You probably won't have to see a doctor. One of my first clients was a, uh, he had type 2 diabetes. Mm-hmm. And I started working with him. We worked together for about six years. 
And I start working with him, and um, slowly but surely, the medication started getting less and less and less. By the time we were done, actually not even by the time we were done, halfway through, it, he was actually off of his di diabetes, off of his, his, his medicine. Um, and um, we know the effects of exercise on obesity. We know the effects of exercise on cancer patients, on AIDS patients, on people who are dealing with anything in their body can be helped through fitness and health and fitness. Smokers. Yes. We take a step back. Just smokers alone. Boom, boom. Yeah. I, I just getting moving. So, um, thing to say, my life is a trend on here, but it's not really a trend. I'm still not getting it, but it's talking about yoga. Yoga. That goes back before most strength training. When was the last yoga class you went in? Um, Tell I the have, truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. I've done yoga in over a year. Oh, over he told the truth, y'all. Why? Tell me, why? Uh, life became a little more busy. Oh, that's when you need to slow down and get into a yoga class. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, you can always take me on schedule, and I can take that yoga class in the middle of the day. No, you know, <laughs> no, no, you make time. Make time. And you, you know, know what I, time I work out at night? Yeah, you know what time I work out at night? Okay, here's what I'm saying. We both got busy lives, but yesterday I had a yoga class. Oh, what time? It was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You no, are on break. You on break sleeping. You trying to get ready for your nighttime session. Yes, yes, Not yes. Not this past week. Last okay, then weeks. last week, next week, you want to go with me to Westwood for yoga? Well, what I gotta, wait a minute. First of all, I got to travel to Westwood for yoga. You're already over there. Okay, people, <laughs> these are all the excuses we hear when we tell our clients what to do. See, here he is right here. Okay, sometimes you got to go to where the yoga, you got to go to the river. When the river's rising, you got to go there. I got plenty of water at home. <laughs> Dude, go to a yoga class with me. Okay, here's what we'll do. Where you 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 train over West Hollywood? I'll find a West Hollywood class. We go into yoga next week. Come on, just say yes. Say no. Yes. I'm not gonna say yes over Why? the microphone. Say yes. I'll do yoga. No, you come to a yoga class with me. I will definitely do a yoga class with you. Thank you. Next future. week. Thank you. Next I week. I say next week. Um, you heard. You heard. You heard. <laughs> Let me see. What's this sound effect? What is this one? <laughs> Busy bus station. <laughs> Busy bus station. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you a clap. I'm going to give you a clap right there because you're going to be there next week. <laughs> that was weak. Okay, yoga. So here's the benefits of yoga, and there's different type of yoga I want to talk about here. Um, people go, Hatha yoga. I want to go to Hatha yoga class. Well, the word Hatha means movement in Sanskrit. So every class that you take, if it's movement, it's, it's, it's Hatha. Then there's meditative yoga. Then there's service yoga where you're doing service for your community. Then there's mantra yoga where you speak the word um, I am or affirmations. But yoga is a consciousness. Yoga is your mind that you're connected. Your mind and body and spirit are one. It's connected. Um, but the different styles of yoga, we have Ashtanga. We have Vinyasa. I'm a Vinyasa coach. Um, we have Kulini, um, which I love. And we have um, Bikram yoga, which I love, or hot yoga. Those are different styles of yoga. But yoga is, is something that I believe that is... If more people did yoga, we have less wars and rumors of wars and, and all that stuff. Because you know what? Kim Jong-un, you need to do some yoga. Donald Trump, do some yoga. And look Get at it. Oh. I know. Ooh. Yeah, I said it out loud. They fat. <laughs> Eating McDonald's, looking like looking like a Happy Meal. Okay, I didn't say that. I don't use the F word. <laughs> fat? Oh, I said it. Oh, God. I call anybody fat. That is wrong. That is wrong. I call myself fat. I call anybody fat. There's nothing wrong with it. It's who you are. Uh, let's talk about the next one. <laughs> Personal training. Personal did, training. Okay, what what should one of our if, I, if one of our people are listening to this and they're going, okay, I'm ready to bite the bullet and and say they don't live in LA and they can't they can't call you. What do they do if they live in, say, Indiana, they're listening to this, and they need a personal trainer? What should they look for? How do they find a personal trainer? Because they can't go to Google and find it. No. They can, come on, tell, tell, tell them how to find it. Um, well, 
I think the big deal and the big trend is is personal training, online coaching. Ugh, see. I, it's, it's a big trend. It's growing. But you need to find someone you connect with. You connect with what they're writing, what they're talking about, what they're showing you, especially from a transformational standpoint. Or are you just giving you a cookie-cutter plan? But here's my, here's my thing. How can you train me if you online? I'm not going to just follow you. Tell me about the online training. How can you personalize that for you? How can you personalize? Well, find an online coach that will design a program for you based off of your results, what you're, what you're doing week by week, what you're doing at least every bi-weekly. Now, there's some, a lot of coaches, they'll just give you a cookie cutter plan. Yeah, it's like, It's like, on, hey, I mean, this is my plan this. Yes. This is, it's 150 here's your, here's, 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 here's your, your meal plan here. Here's this. It's very cookie cutter. You want somebody that's going to be able to say, hey, these are your macros this week. You know, let's get update pictures this week, this week, this week. Okay, I you got to bring it down. You got you to bring it down to the language they okay. What's a macro? Macros. It's your nutrients and your food. Okay. Well, basically what you're eating. What okay. you put in your mouth. How okay. much. Your caloric intake, the okay. calories. Okay. Um, now they got, protein, now they got that. Your, your protein, fats, okay. your your carbohydrates. All right. And they tell you, someone that's going to tell you what you're putting in your mouth based off of where you are currently, um, fitness level wise, what you're doing exercise wise, and also based off of what he's going to issue you exercise wise and keeping up with that. Um, that's going to be the best benefit uh, if you're doing online coaching. Mm. Um, now, if you just need a cookie cutter plan, you just get a cookie cutter plan. But finding an online, finding a coach, you know, you want to look for someone that's been in the game a little bit, someone that has verified, you know, you know, transformations. They don't help some folk. So you're gonna follow them. What are you gonna do? Um, I think you. One, you follow them. You find out what they're doing. You find out about the certifications. A qualified professional like myself, <laughs> you know, you find, like uh, you know, NASM, National Association of National Academy of Sports Medicine. You me- you messed up my certification. That's, I didn't mess up your I'm, Roco. I'm sorry, I was beneath me though. <laughs> so that was, that's why I didn't know it. Wait a minute. We are the number one, yo. We are the number one That's, personal training in the world. Natural Academy of Sports Medicine. Yes, of course. That's my you people. Are, That's my peeps. Don't be hating you know on I me. Mean? Because it's by don't, don't advertisement. Be no. <laughs> Go ahead with your uh, Roco as uh, certification. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, finding qualified people yeah. that and also Talking to people, saying, "Hey, listen, mm. who do you work with? These, uh, you've made some transformation. Right. Who are you working with? Right? You know, go to a gym, find a trainer that has worked with several people in your particular population. If mm. you're, whether you're overweight, you need to drop a few pounds. You just need a little transformation based off. See of why you diabetes. made that all kind before you use the F word. You I use the F word. Now you got to bring it back to all overweight." See, stay true to yourself. When you fat, <laughs> or a little less fat, or kind of uh, have some fat. Oh, no. I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm trying to be gentle. I'm good. Uh, I'm fat, I, 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 feel, I feel good, though. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, so, I want to hear about your, before we jump on to the next one, because we're about to close out. We got about 15 minutes, but I want to jump on it. Now I want to talk about sports. Okay. Um, cause we about to hit, hit that season. And I'm like, Ooh. I'm like, Are you ready for some football? Oh my God. Anyway, anyway, before we get there, I want to hear about your intermittent fasting. How is that going for you? Interme- like, you know, it has been right now very good. Yeah. Because, um, I've taken a few trips. Um, I've had uh, a few weekends off. Mm-hmm. I've had some birthday parties and everything else. So my weight is maintaining rev- relatively the same. I'm about 230 yeah. right now. But. And that's 230 my, muscle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I purposely was trying to put on weight earlier right. because I'm going to start doing shows again next year. Um, but uh, my weight's been maintaining. But my body composition has been changing. Mm. I've noticed a big difference. Yeah. Uh, 
my core, my back, my shoulders, everything. I'm a little more dense, a little bit more muscular. Mm -hmm. And my wife is happy because she's cooking less. <laughs> Will you explain? So real happy. Explain intermittent fasting, please, and then uh, let the audience know or our listeners know where, if they're looking to do this, where can they get more information about this? Because I've heard this. I've heard people around the club talking about it. Have some trainers, other trainer friends, are doing this right now. I'm, still, I kind of do it, but I'm like, you know, I'm like by eleven o'clock, I'm getting something to eat. I'm just, I can't go 12, 1 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I know me. Yeah. Well, um, intermittent fasting is, uh, you know, it's like uh, anywhere between, I, I, I like to say 12 to a 14 hour period where you go uh, low, no calorie, mm -hmm. where you're not taking anything mm -hmm. after your last meal. Mm -hmm. And my last meal typically is very carb dense because it's usually post-workout mm. uh, my first meal lunchtime yeah late lunch yeah is usually protein a little bit fat based so mm. i'm doing like your avocado your your uh, almonds something yeah. but i'm eating a ton of vegetables yeah so i gotta keep my greenery high yeah I keep every meal greenery high folks greenery high two 200 grams of vegetables mm. every serving wow yeah, it's a lot. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of farting, me. too. No. <laughs> unless you're eating Brussels sprouts. Then it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, but that's also because your yeah. body's processing that. Yeah, and trying to get it out. And yeah. um, I, I was talking out. to a nutritionist about it because I am, I don't care. If I eat a vegetable, I'm farting. And she said to me, um, you know, that's just your colon being cleansed. And that's that's what happens, and and so um, if you are a vegetarian, you you know, or a vegan, or you do a lot of raw. I do a lot of raw food, yeah. so it's going in oh, and it has a, it cleans it. But out. also with the raw food, your body does work a little harder. It has to work harder. harder, yeah, because it has it's to work raw. harder. But I feel better on it when I am raw. I feel better. I'm I'm about to go through a cleansing time. Okay, I'm gonna go through a juice cleanse um, in for all dates juice cleansing, and then I'll have um, raw in the evening. So yeah. I'm gonna actually uh, jump on that coming up in about a month, month and a half. I still have a little bit of healing to do that I'm doing with um, a little bit of surgery I had, but um, I will be jumping on that very soon. All vegan. Okay. And um, yeah, it's just that time of year getting ready for because the holiday season is no joke. No. No. There's no, no, no joke. People all lose their mind. 25 pounds. That's the average American um, gains between 5 and 25 pounds between October. We're talking about Halloween all the way through until not January, but February, February. 14th. Yes, exactly. That yeah, exactly. is crazy. Yes, it is. It crazy, is. crazy. I'm about so, to go mass cut. So. Oh, okay, okay. But let me ask you: When you go, because I know you big football head, and I just like I, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's cool and all that, but I'm boycotting. I'm boycotting football this year. Why? My boy, Capern. What's his name? Capern. Capern. Cap. Capernat. First of all, Capernickel. If he's your boy, <laughs> you need to say his name right. Capernickel. What's his name? Capernickel. Angel Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Colin name? Kaepernick. That's Colin right. Kaepernick. That's what I'm saying. I, Kaepernick. Yeah. Kaepernick. Bro. So why are you Kaepernick? Kaepernick. Because Kaepernick. No, no. Here, here's my whole thing, though. Okay. I, um, I, I got to tell you, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a big football fan. I, I used to be a huge football fan when I lived in, 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 in on the East Coast. Okay. The Giants, my team. But then they just got a little boom. And I go home on, I'm going home for Christmas. And I'll watch football, talk football with my brother, and boom, like, and uh, we in Atlantic City. So you know right. the Eagles. And the Giants and the Jets, you always know, boom. So I just don't think it's fair. Okay. It's a political thing. It is. That they are stopping this brother from making a living because he wants to stand up for what's right. Right. So um, I'm like, okay, I it's easy for me to kind of boycott because I don't watch that much anyway, but. Normally, I would sit there, I would go on Sunday and watch with a friend or whatever. I'm just not going to do it this year. Yeah. You know, it is that time of year. It is football season where y'all just lose your mind anyway. NFL is a little Gestapo. 
It is, right? It's, it's not just me, right? Come it, it, on. It is, it is, it is a little Gestapo. I so mean, what do you like about football? What do you like? Um, I like, um, I like everything about it. I like team play. I like the short, short ball, I like the long game. I like the, uh, I like, uh, the speed of movement. I like to watch physical people move well. I like everything about the game. It's great. Intensity. You know, Wait a minute, you say intensity? Intensity. In, matter of fact, I'm going to say intensity. I'm going to say it with a lisp. <laughs> intensity. No, it's amazing. I love yeah, intensity yeah, yeah. in football. Yeah, who's your I, team? Um, I'm a diehard Raider. Oh, you boy. You Tried a thug. You a thug. That's right. You are a thug. Back That's in the day. Right. I'm trying to be nice Raider, ra- right now. <laughs> was it black? And, was it the black and silver? Uh, oh you, yeah. So you mean you will you be going to um, Vegas? Vegas? I might. That's gonna be crazy. Being in Vegas on a on a uh, uh, that's gonna be crazy. Oh, it's gonna be yeah, yeah. You, you know, well, y'all it is mine. Um, we finally got our teams: Chargers, yeah, Rams. Yeah, we got two. We went from having nothing to having two. I wish we got the Raiders. Oh, please. Raiders ain't coming back to L.A. No, they're not now. No, they be yeah. Not now. And we don't want three, so y'all keep on stepping to Vegas, Joe. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but will you go? I'll actually go. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll break my boycott, and we got to go and check out, um, let's see, Rams or Chargers game. I'll go see a Rams game. That's okay. the Chargers. Why? Why you, why you hating on the Chargers? Because the they, battle continues. No. Raiders and Chargers. No, but they, they beat them up all the time. But but let me tell you, they got but but Chargers got the best outfits. Are you serious? Got the best colors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Raiders got the best outfits. Oh no, no. You can wear <laughs> anything with black and silver. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, you no, can. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> Plus you can't see us coming at night. <laughs> oh, that's true. It comes to thugs. It comes to thugs. I take you out. <laughs> take us out. Take us out. <laughs> Just win, baby. Oh this my god! All okay. about the Raiders. So okay, so it used to be like okay. Remember, remember it was Monday night football. Mm-hmm. That was it. Why y'all got it now? You got to have Sunday night football, Monday night football. You got Thursday night football. You and there was even something that I thought I saw a uh, Saturday night football. I'm like, what? I'm good with Monday night. I'm good with the all day. Even Sunday night games because Sunday is football day. Yeah, but the Thursday night games, I'm not too sure about. Like, I'm not even attracted to it. Yeah, I get irritated. Like, there's a game on. I got what? Ah, oh, man, teaching this class. I, I, was, I gotta watch them for. And the games are not as intense because what happens is a lot of those, a lot of those guys have already right. played the right. week before, so their period of rest is yeah. shorter. Yeah, you need to recover in football. Yeah, you need those seven days. I was um, walking through. I just finished teaching a cycling class, and I'm walking through. And one of my students, normally in my cycle class, and I'm going, "What happened?" She's on the step stairmaster. I'm going, yeah, "What happened?" Baby. She goes, "It's football." I'm going, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" Get it, you, girl. Wait, 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 wait. I like. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> oh yeah, I like her. <laughs> I'm a recruiter for my class. Jessica, now. Jessica, I'm going, what? You are going to miss my class for football? Really? Bye, Felicia. That's what I said. Bye, Felicia. A little sensitive. I said, bye, Felicia. Okay, oh. what I do love is um I love college ball. Mm-hmm. I love college ball, but that's like that's like the new school slavery, man. Man. Come on. That they need to get that together, man. Yeah. The amount of money that they make schools and these brothers ain't getting nothing. Come on. I know. It's, I, just, it's just, a new school slave, slavery, man. Just like when you look at Alabama football and you Ooh. watch the documentaries how in, what was it, uh, up until, I want to say, mid-70s? I saw that, brother. I saw that one. That, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. And, and apparently the coach was trying to bring in, but they're like, nope. Yeah. You can't do it. Well, it's too. Um, I, I I just don't understand. I understand it's a money maker for the college, but I don't understand how you can still treat the players the way you do. You know what I can't understand? What 
Why does the coach make five million dollars a year? Yeah, the coach, the coach, athletes that are making absolutely nothing. nothing. He's making a professional athlete yeah. salary. He's making yeah. a professional basketball, football coach yeah. salary. And to top it all off, Nike, Adidas, whoever represents, yeah. they pay the coach to represent yeah. that school. Yeah. But the team is wearing it. Every you go out, you gonna buy a jersey. Yeah. You're wearing that your favorite player. That coach don't have a jersey. Does it say <laughs> Coach Smith on the back or Coach whatever? No. <laughs> I got a problem with that. Yeah, well, okay. So we have a problem with but see, now why are you watch it then? <laughs> I I never mind. Never I, mind. Never mind. I don't mind. watch colleges. Much. Gonna, I'm not a big fan of college. I'm just okay on college. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. We have to shut this podcast down because let me tell you, we have gone all over the place today. We yes, we from, are. We went from uh, in, but from sitcoms and old time movies to fitness trends, and mm-hmm. then we popping finished with locking. football popping and locking. All right, brother, where can we find you? You can find me at. CoachKJ.com. <laughs> Jeez. He did it. At CoachKJKnows yes. on Twitter and Instagram. Yes. And CoachKJ on uh, Facebook. Facebook? Yes. Go, 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 go. Where can we find you, Skippy? I am on SkipJennings.com. Go there. You'll be able to find all my books, all my DVDs, all my life coaching. And, oh, I just need to announce this. Oh. And that is... I just got an Amazon deal. Oh! All my online stuff will be held at Amazon. You can view it and you can stream it. Oh my gosh, I just had an Ed McMahon moment. I know. Oh. I, I, I just, and I just remembering that that deal just went through. Uh, more information coming up on my um, website. You'll have more information how you can stream all my stuff. You don't even buy it anymore. You just stream it. It's a uh, boom. Um, until then, you can see me on YouTube. I have a YouTube page, Skip Jennings. I also have my um, Facebook page, Twitter page, and Instagram, all under Skip Jennings. And we have Better Than Yesterday podcast Facebook page. Please like us. Also, we are we like are we, we are on the iTunes, Joe. We are on the iTunes. Every, I, I, every, every iTunes. <laughs> iTunes. Yes. You can listen to all our past episodes on demand or just um, subscribe to us on um, iTunes. It goes right to your smartphone or onto your computer. And um, there you have it. And be smart about it. Subscribe to it. And <laughs> be smart about it. So be you can be better to- than what? Yesterday. That's my I think we're out of here. Thank you so much for joining us. Are we done? We're done. Bye, y'all. Peace. Bye.